welcome to the first episode of the Pokemon Crystal Wetlock. I actually just downloaded this and then decided to start the first, record the first episode of the Wetlock. Because I never played Crystal before. I didn't play Pokemon until Emerald. So this is my first time playing through Silver, Gold, Crystal, Gen 2. I played the Gen 2 remakes, but I never actually played Gen 2. So my first time. And I downloaded Crystal off of the eShop using the money I have. I might actually download another game. And that, I might actually download Pokemon Gold or Pokemon Silver off of the eShop also. Or I might get Pokemon Red. But I do plan on downloading another one from eShop. I just don't know which one. I might do Pokemon Red Nuzlocke on the channel or just on my own. But yeah, this is going to be the first episode of the Pokemon Crystal Wetlock. Because in Gen 2 is when they added genders. Gen 1, they didn't have genders. But in Gen 2, they added it. I'm not sure if this is the right time or not. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm guessing it is. I don't know. <laughs> doesn't matter, like I said. Your oak. People call you the Pokemon Professor. But I definitely hope you guys enjoy this series. The day you're watching this is the day, no, is the day out. The day you're watching this, it should be Wednesday. I'm just going to name my character Alex. Let me see what I have. What is it? It's a six. Oh, that is too zoomed in. That's bad. Because one, two, one through three is the grass type starter. Four through six is the fire type. Seven to nine is the water type. So I get Cyndaquil.
Time to go get us in the grill. Probably not gonna get Cinderella partner in this episode. May might I don't know. Okay. Wait, did I do this? Yeah, because one, two, three is the grass step starter. The wall type stider is less. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the core. It's been a while since I actually done this. Because <laughs> in Sun and Moon, you don't get your ID number until after. And in Pokemon Y, I'm doing a dual type Nuzlocke, so I have to go with the starter. That's my one of my typings. It's a male. I don't know. I'm just gonna name you Ash because Ash has its in the quill. I do plan on doing a Pokemon Sun White Lock in the future. I, I done a Wonder Lock, a Nuzlocke. Lock. I'm doing a Wonder White Lock on Ultra Sun, but I might do a, just a regular White Lock on the first Sun, and then yeah, Ultra Sun is still the Wonder White Lock because I'm still doing that, but regular Sun. Would be just a regular wet look. Which would probably. Which would start once I finish one of these series off. Most likely, once I finish Y, I would do like the first episode of the wet lock of, of Sun. Or after I finish Y, I do the first episode of the shiny lock. But I won't actually be doing any shiny hunting for the shiny lock until I start live streaming again. Which be be in April properly. Which I mentioned when I was in the Pokemon Y episode. I mentioned that I was taking a break from live streaming. But I also put an announcement about that in Discord. So if you're on my Discord, you already knew that I was taking a break. Actually, no, you can keep the bear. Tackle there. You have the berry, I was looking at the stats. 
To be honest, I don't know when the physical and special split came. Like I said, I didn't actually play until I tell Emerald. Well, Emerald was my first game. I knew about Ruby and Sapphire, but I didn't want them, I guess. Or I was still very young. I don't know. But I wanted Emerald for some reason. I don't know. I just did. I have a feeling you're going to be partnered up with a centric. I may be wrong. I might do another randomizer in the future. I just need to get that used to using OBS and stuff and find somewhere where I can download it. Like, I know you can download it. I know how to download it, but some of the websites give you a virus on your computer. Some ROM websites give you a virus. I need to find one that is safe and won't give my computer a virus. Okay, there's still a cutchery. It's going to be, what Pokemon do you hope to see, um, what Pokemon do you hope to see as our first pair? Because right now we got Cyndaquil. Who do you hope to see pairs up with Cyndaquil? It should, like, it can be a pair that we're about to get, or it can partner that Cyndaquil's first partner, or... A partner you hope to see Cyndaquil with in the future up to the Elite Four. What Pokemon do you ever want to see Cyndaquil partner up with? Something like that. I couldn't really think of something good to ask, so. No, what pe how about this? Instead, the question of the day is going to be... This is <laughs> um going to be... What pairs do you want to see? What Pokemon pairs do you want to see? I really need to start coming up with the question of the day before I record. But it's so hard to think of a good question. <laughs> but that's going to be it instead. What pairs do you want to see? I definitely want an Espeon, and I don't know why I want to play that with Espeon. An Espeon and a Harry Cross wouldn't be a bad pairing. I would actually like a Harry Cross. And an Espeon, of course, because it's my mascot. Espeon and Heracross will be a pair I would love to see in the future. I believe I had an Umbreon in the Heracross and the Soul Silver White Lock. 
which I basically lost to blue. Yeah, I pretty much did. So that's ended. Oh wait, no, I don't need the barricades. This guy's pointless. I think. Or does he give you something? He gives you a berry, okay. Like I said, I don't know much about Crystal and the second gen stuff. <laughs> I didn't play like third gen. So. Didn't start playing until like third gen. This was out like when I was a baby. Emerald was out when I turned like three years old. So. Yeah, this was back when I was like a little baby still. I was still pretty young and when I got Emerald, but. I was older than one years old. <laughs> I was still didn't know how to read for real then, but still, I wanted the game, so I played the game. And the challenge doesn't start until we get Pokeballs and stuff. So if we lose to this guy, it doesn't matter. Because I don't lose the challenge. Um. I'm still going to heal anyways, because I'm not just going to not heal just because it doesn't count as losing the lock. Actually, I think I am going to get our first uh, catch something to be paired up with Cyndaquil, and I would do off-screen training. Cause definitely that doesn't count until we get Pokemon. And I would train up in the next episode. We would continue on. Apparently the camera cut off and I didn't realize. Like I said, I'm still working on YouTube stuff since I don't have the money for the best stuff. Well, I had at least Half of the money I needed for a capture card, I think. But it still would have took me forever for the capture card 3DS to get here. Well, actually, I did have less than I needed. Because the shipment to send it to Japan and then all that shipping would cost so much, like 500 until I'm a I, so I won't have that kind of stuff until I'm actually like a grown up and have the money like that. So I record with my phone and stuff. It'd probably be better if I had like a camcorder. Well, a camera basically.
So time to catch something and then I'm ending off. Wait. Do I have Pokeballs yet? No, I need to talk to the professor again. Then I get Pokeballs. Okay, okay. I basically recorded this one hour after recording the Y Nuzlocke, dual type Nuzlocke. And after this, I record another episode of that. So that will be up on Thursday. If I remember to record another episode. Knowing me, I might forget. I just get too tired to record and just record it the next day. Watch me not record it until it needs to go up on Thursday. <laughs> and another episode of this would be on Friday. Because this is going up Wednesday and then the next episode of this will go up on Friday. I'm working on my YouTube schedule of uploading, especially since I I still am, I have homework and stuff and all that. Which I should be doing instead of recording, but I do it after I'm done recording. It won't hurt. Waiting a little bit longer, I do it hasn't hurt anyone. Okay, time to find you someone. Needs to be a female. Hop it. And I will train this hop it up. So I, so it's nice and ready to battle in the next episode. Okay, all oh, nice and nice. Now I'm going to train you up off camera to level five. And Santa will probably be like level nine or something, but whatever. At least one hop it trained up so it can battle on its own, at least, without having to switch train constantly. So I see you guys for the next episode of the Pokemon Crystal Wetlock, and I hope you enjoyed this first episode.